Добро пожаловать на мой канал. Сегодня продолжаем играть в Red Dead Redemption 2. Всем приятного просмотра. Погнали! Так, что это мы тут спим? Итак, у нас здесь новое место. И уже награда за нас 50 баксов. Ну, ладно. Так, пойдем и тогда на миссию Грей. Так, проснулись. Дач попросил нас не использовать здесь оружие. Ну, постараемся. Так, просто расслабься. Не орите yep. тут на меня. Так, поспрашивайте в Каллига Холл, чтобы узнать больше о Греях. Ну давайте поспрашиваем. Так, я помощник шерифа, чё? Так, вот первый наш. Hey, uh, Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Так, погнали до Бо. Secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. Mm 
Так, сейчас отнесем. Hey. Hey, sir. Понятно. Где там мой конь? Wait. Sorry, girl. Come on, girl. Погнали. Фига, ты не перепрыгнула. Ты чё, мать? Взяла, врезалась. Тупая скотина. Еще надо это и беспалевно сделать. Обалдеть. Хорошо, что здесь такой туман. Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, 
They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are... they're something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Так, теперь надо Бо. Покиньте сектор. Не попадитесь никому на глаза. Так, ну давайте на всякий случай оденем. Так, и сектор. Ого, большеват. Так-то. Так, что меня кто-то спалил? Валим, валим, валим. Итак. У нас теперь есть миссия у... Бо. Так, ну давайте за, до него доедем. Темная ночь уже. преступление мы же ничего не совершали странные странности you know me I'm on official business for the family Hey, friend. Evening, fella. Look out! 
your damn Move mind next time. So, hey there. О, хорошо, что они это как за агрессию не посчитали. Его же не было там. Так, Бо. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God, what a woman. She's... This'll get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family. We've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Так, погнали за Бо. You know that. Do something, please. You what? Fight this mob? They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Sure. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. Так, ну погнали. Женщины тоже люди. Take us Наверное. down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Banker Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? 
not just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun, and maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I'll just to make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Easy. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 For all of us. Yay. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Mm. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. <laughs> His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. <laughs> you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, well, you always will. Bo, little... where are we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Uh -huh. Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Ну давай, Бо, садись. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and... Penelope said, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her, I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. 
О, зубоближка, спасибо. Давай, счастливо. Так. Итак, здесь у нас что? Дач Ван Де Линде. Так, ну давайте здесь все равно мы недалеко. Награда все равно 50 баксов за меня. Что я здесь делал, не знаю. О, почему недоступно? Скорее всего, надо нам идти до нашей новой хаты. Потому что так... Мистер Пирсон. Давайте с Пирсоном поговорим. Ну, пока задание недоступно. Чарльз, который постоянно хочет нас My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. 
You want to head out there, run with the men? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Так, давайте в магазин сгоняем. You cool down then yet? I guess. Oh, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. There. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! You insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there, you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Так, пойду посмотрю почту. Так, а там какой-то чувак, который отображается как враг. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Oh my! Apologies. So sorry. It's fine. Watch it now. Пошел ты. Hey there, folks. Good morning to you. I'm trying. harder. Hey, boy. Собака. I think this is everything. Fine. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. 
I didn't ask for a goddamn pill. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Нифига ты приоделась. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well... My house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... You know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey! How's about this? No! Oh! Так. Нападение бандитов. Минус. Я вообще хорошо стреляю. Вот давай сюда, все. Сейчас я последнего. No, pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Yep. We show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Hey, watch it! So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway. Don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. 
won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of politics. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Итак, неплохо сгоняли в магазик. Так, здесь есть какие-то дела ежедневные. Так, а, вот, сходить за водой что-то там. I think I like you even less when you're friendly. You're the first person ever told me that. Mm. Так. Ядро. Да, прошлый раз у нас миссия началась именно с этого. Hello. Do some work, Siri. This isn't a holiday camp. Так. поработаем немножко так не сюда Так, поработали. Может быть здесь еще что-нибудь есть? Здорово. Здорово. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside, all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more. But I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. Это да, пойдемте, ограбим налетчиков.
How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. Will you hurry up? Can't you just ride with me? So, yeah, where were we? I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him, you tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds? Supplies and the like? <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scope this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. Man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Surgnum. Up here, Morgan. Make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. 